and welcome to City 7 News. Here are the headlines at this hour. African man caught smuggling five and a half kilograms of cocaine. Innovative education method introduced in capitals, public schools. And children with special needs celebrate first year of social integration program. Dubai police have arrested an African man who was caught in possession of five and a half kilograms of cocaine. The man who was traveling from Sao Paulo had hidden the drugs in paper folders used as school supplies. Special detection units from the police caught the suspect. He admitted that he was transferring the drugs in exchange for $10,000. Dubai police have intensified their campaign against drug dealers. The general public has been asked to call the number 800-400-400 if they are aware of such illegal activities. Germany's government will not interfere in the case of a suspected Israeli agent thought to have played a role in the Dubai assassination of Hamas commander Mahmoud al-Mabhu. According to German media reports, ministers have agreed that the case involving the suspected agent arrested in Warsaw at Germany's request will be handled strictly according to legal criteria. The man arrested on June 4th at Warsaw Airport, identified as Yuri Brodsky, is a suspected Mossad agent accused of being involved in illegally obtaining a German passport in connection with the assassination of the Hamas leader in Dubai. For the first time, all Abu Dhabi K3 public school classes will have intensive bilingual classes in the coming year as part of the first phase of the new school program. The innovative approach is expected to make Abu Dhabi's educational system one of the best in the world. City 7 News visited Albador Pilot School in April, where young nationals were getting a taste of the new program that will change the face of the capital's public education. These students were among the first to try out the kindergarten bilingual system, where one native Arabic teacher and one native English teacher co-run a classroom together. The little ones, KG1 receptive language is fantastic and they can understand everything that the English teachers uh, speak of, even though they came to school with very little language. There was certainly apprehension from both teachers, Arabic speaking and English speaking. All come from different backgrounds, so it's taken some work to make sure that we're all working together. But overall, I think for a first year we've done well. Principal Pauline Kensler saw the nature of the Emirati classroom transform at her school. The new school model tosses out old rote memorization and teacher-focused classrooms and ushers in an era of interactive instruction. Abu Dhabi is embarking on is the most exciting reform that I have seen in education in all my time in education. That's a long time. All K3 principals and teachers will spend the summer undergoing intensive training courses to prepare for the fresh curriculum. The hope is that all government grade levels will follow this model by 2016. A traditional, in a traditional classroom, uh, students are organized into rows. Um, they remain in their seats. Uh, a teacher stands in the uh, front of the classroom and delivers uh, presentations or lectures. In the new classroom, the emphasis is on uh, the student and the student interacting with the information, uh, the student processing information, interacting with one another. So physically what that looks like is the classroom is much more likely to have students organized into uh, groups, uh, students uh, talking with one another, uh, challenging one another. Come next September, at least 171 public schools will transition to the new school model. That means that more than 38,000 students will experience a brand new style of learning, one that challenges their critical thinking skills and makes them fluent in both English and Arabic. In short, public education in Abu Dhabi is about to completely transform. Carmel Dimitri, City 7 News. In more education news, teaching and transportation standards at many private and public schools in Dubai have improved. The Dubai Schools Inspection Bureau, or DSIB's annual report for 2010, published by the Knowledge and Human Development Authority on its website, compares progress made by schools in the two years since the start of inspections in 2008. The report said the proportion of good and outstanding teaching in public schools had risen significantly from 34% to 48%. 
It's time now for a short break. Up next, Filipino expats mark their national day.